Lots and talons and metal means iron and bronze. On the top of a few buildings, like for example the Congress, full golden stadiums. Okay, so this area was really expensive. And because they had to build basilicas, churches, then it bronze for bronze doors, slabs, blocks. They didn't remove every day, just when they need. That's why instead of four centuries, they took eight centuries. Basically, Michelangelo was a work on this chapel ceiling, and somebody here removed last slabs. What they had, just skeleton of a building, just bricks, no marble, no bronze, no gold. And because of the wood to come, the Valencian Rome was absolutely strong, they decided to destroy things as skeleton, 48 meters. And they put it easy every time. 16 meters of demolition waste. We made everything underground, but I told you, they destroyed We have just three half of the shutter building inside this area. Remain everything underground, flat. Spontaneously, naturally, started to be green on the top. So it was a city park, starting from this arch to the next arch. Completely flat and green. Just on the opposite side, few columns, for example, that three columns remain just at the top, two, three meters outside. So green and these three columns outside. Now, this is really important for Romans and is important even now for Jewish. Because I told you, Nero left the coffee completely empty, fresh, the whole. And Vespasian, next emperor, promised to be Coliseum. I told you, if you remember, more or less 600 million dollars. Who gave money to Vespasian? This is on title. In other language, you read that Senate and people of Rome built to the Tibus because of God, Emperor God on earth. So Tibus means God. To God, Tito, Tito, Titus, son of Vespasian, built this art. Because the Titus saved the Roman Empire from an early, definitely fresh. The decoration under the, the arch, you see Roman soldiers carry menorah. They arrived back to Jerusalem because just Jewish organized complaints, riots, and early terroristic attempts against Romans never accepted Roman domination. They didn't want Romans in Jerusalem. Romans remain tolerant for about one century and half, but now they need money because the Romans invented the concept of public opinion because they didn't want to show they could be repressive, you know, and oppressive. Remaining tolerant for one century and half, now they need money and gold because it's just Jewish complaint against Romans' domination. They are back to Jerusalem, they removed tons of gold from the Jerusalem temple, symbolically the menorah, the seven arms and the larger of the Jewish domination. Tons of gold and mountains of cash because they sold on action 38,000 Jewish like slaves. The price was 20, 30,000 American dollars each. Wow. 38,000 Jewish means a lot of money and they managed to keep for the sale. They saved the empire because it's full of cash and gold. So Titus was a hero in the syndrome. That's why they did the art. The decoration is still painful for Jews because due to Titus and Romans, they lost the temple, now they have just the high wall. And because Jews, uh, Romans started with a crazy taxation, 70%, to avoid this taxation and to find better life conditions, Jews start, start traveling all around the empire and later in Europe. So, Jews retain it the Romans, about diaspora, and anti-Semitism. The rest of their problems in. Now, we have two options. We can reach, and maybe for you it's interesting. We can go down to the center, the forum, or we can reach the Busca point for your... Where do you want to go? Top or bottom? Let's go top.
This one is another shopping center on the corner for floors, marble slabs all around by Nero after the Great Fire. And you see the level, the approach I told you. The first ring of marble and then they destroyed a rabbit to ground zero. <laughs> The staircase now we will use to go upstairs. Basically, once was inside a building, was the staircase for customers to reach the second floor. The slabs completely different because one century ago rebuilt for visitors, but once white marble. The Vista point we are going now, now is just a Vista point. Once was at the top of the hill and that was the Imperial Palace. The Imperial Palace was a completely destroyed in Renaissance age by Farnese family, powerful family. The Pope Paul III was Paul Farnese, gave the hill to his family. They built these two buildings, two aviaries basically, the entrance for a small summer residence because the Imperial Palace just ruins. I mean, this kind, aesthetically speaking, was like that. They said, oh my God, this is so terrible. We have to remove everything. And so we can build a Renaissance garden. So they managed to remove 100% of the Imperial Palace. That's why on the top, what was the ground floor of this palace now is just a vista point. There's the point and the sea. Is there a restroom up here? Banyo? Uh, yes. Maybe it says that here. Uh, I'll show you now. And I'll it was a better this one because it was inside a building. Oh. Now it's a portable uh, oh, it's, toilet. That's okay. you know? But I'll show you. Oh, wow. This one was a very the museum is a, a typical public, uh, sorry, private condo invented by Greeks 3,000 years ago. They imitate a natural cave and water had to flow gently. Now, it was at the entrance to this uh, Renaissance residence. Now, the area was completely full of materials, 
using with a set case guest arriving here. The typical rainy sentiment image from Bethany Tyler because my beautiful guest that water flowing gently and because we have two others full of exotic birds as well. Water and the typical you know rainy oh, sentiment. Yeah, yeah. Now, we are exactly inside the Imperial Palace. I mean, this is the ground floor. They destroyed everything I told you. The trees you see over there, they put to remember the south side wall. It was 180 meters in that direction, 150 meters in this direction. This is strange destroyed wall is what remain of the front wall of this building. So this is the ground floor of the Imperial Palace. Now, I show you the, the restroom. Nothing. Right. But this is the main hall, the dining room for Amber means 25 meters of wall, slabs, decorations, frescoes on the top, large windows all around, but direct light until late afternoon after, 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 uh, afternoon. Now this staircase basically connects this hall to the minus one floor full of kitchens, you know, categories. This staircase basically less than 15 seconds employee could arrive with food here. Wow. Now, no wall, imagine. Marvel's lot and columns all around. Now, this is not a building. Under your feet, you have the hill, the Palatine Hill. Uh -huh. Because the hills in Rome, made by pyroclastic materials, the tufa rock is a very easy to excavate. So the service area was a built excavating the hill. In the belly of the hill, there was the service area. Now is the bottom under your feet and part of the city. Really gives you a perspective the of how high. So I said it gives you a perspective of how high yeah. this was. 
the hole you see close to the wall, they fix the marbles a lot. And to be sure, the slab, concrete of course behind the slab, to be sure never to collapse. They fix the long pins and the head of the pins outside was a decoration. So bronze, so yellow and shining, mm -hmm. because they watch every single day. So it was like a decoration. So they didn't have just white, but these bronze decorations to fix the slab. Wow. <laughs> the white building is outside in the archaeological site, you see, outside. It's a perfect replica of an ancient Roman building. So this area, you have to imagine that kind that of was, building. These wow. sides, that color, the bronze status on the top. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Just the three Look at the whole buildings so far. Just the three buildings. The Congress, that pagan temple, this is small circular hall, and the basilica. The rest completely destroyed, I told you. Because the stone is not so difficult to cut, because yeah. originally it's just ashes, okay? Right. 100 centuries ago, they thought to cut the hill to have like a cube, they built just one line of bricks, so it seems a building, right. marbles allowed so around, on the top, they built the palace. Mm. Because the hill is about 40 meters, 40 meters of marble, like a block, and plus 25 meters of the building from the center downstairs right. was like a tower in marble 65 meters wow. because in pagan religion emperor god on her people doing that business had like a reference god and there's a power you know, yeah. get away from the fence please please Thank you. 
They are part of the third emperor. Mm -hmm. The first three emperors had like residence, they private residence. Beautiful houses on the opposite side of the hill, now destroyed, okay? But they decided to build an institutional imperial palace. Mm. And they decided to cut the hill, to start the excavation and to build on the top. Now, we are inside head of palace, the ceiling collapsed during the centuries. Now, past in that arch, we are living in the family of the hill. All these areas, just for employees, not for emperors. Wow. Okay? But even about a service area, always marvelous laps, no brick visible, and difficult to, to, to describe, but anyway, is uh, an original fresco. What remain? Mm -hmm. You see the colors. The colors yeah. was a mix of marble slabs and frescoes. Right? This is not a building. This one. This is the hill excavated. Right? Mm. It's a place without sun. It's a fragment. Oh. It's original anyway. Yeah. Because we talk really about, about a robbery. Mm -hmm. They try to remove the floor section to reuse in middle age buildings. When they realize it starts to be difficult to recompose. Yeah. Okay? Not to remove, to recompose. Because they destroyed the, the geometric right. area. They said, okay, we give up. Leave it. We give yeah. up. They you know what's amazing? In there too. Yeah, on the top. Is the ancient hoses look just like our hoses nowadays. And then the ancient water pressure sprayer looks just like our. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew they had to walk back then? He's trying to be funny. Yeah. Right? To walk. Who knew yeah. they had electricity? Yeah. Because they remove blocks, mm -hmm. they to build arches to support the upper, you know. Right. It's amazing. It's amazing how they made the bricks to make it to go. Right. Angle. Because they have to put marble slabs to have a waterproof basin. Mm -hmm. Removing marbles, they destroyed many. Basins. Here, by miracle, something remained in place on this side, destroyed. Wow. Now, from here, start to move in the service area. So, the uh, And this is the state case. I'll drive on the top. Oh, okay. And because you see, it's really a short safe case, less than 10 15 seconds, food could arrive on the top. Wow. Don't forget, marble slabs. Right. And these holes, imagine 
paints, you know, you have like oh, the, the sun, the lions. Decoration, just decoration. That's with crazy. Love, with love on the wall. That's the reason why I can say that those are space. It's a shame they took all that marble down. How beautiful it would be to see it. Right. About the decoration. When you see bricks, marbles, and lots. But when you see the hill, this is not a wall, this is the hill. Cut, okay? You have to imagine frescoes and you have just one small fragment on that corner. Ah, I see it. You see? Yeah. So, when you see bricks, and lots. So, for instance, you have here two lines of marble slabs and in the middle a fresco. Frescoes, they try to remove. That's why we don't have anything. But even an area for slaves, they had decoration, stuff called frescoes and marble slabs. For example, you have stucco under that arch. Uh -huh. I told you in Psycholiseum, they gave color. Now it's white because the color completely eaten. You know? And this is a picture of that, that, that stucco. So decoration, even in an area just for slaves and employees, not right. for, for, not for VIP. VIP. So they managed to, to, to have two minus floors. This is the minus seven floor, and on the top, the minus first floor. This is narrow, safe case. To connect this area, the working area, with bathrooms of employees and slaves. About 300 people basically in the valley of the hill. Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was a staircase for soldiers, for security, you know, but the steps from Italy because I told you, I like to meet the Emperor lived on the top. Uh -huh. <clears throat> the main entrance <clears throat> was facing the forum. Every day, 70, 90,000 people. So, of course, never ever used the main entrance. Right. You see, now you don't see, but oh, you, see you just see the one. arch? There is an arch. So, these are three. Uh -huh. In less than two minutes, using carriages, they are up to the end of the hill, on the opposite side, the back of the hill. Mm. Basically, the area of Circus Maximum for horse raising chariots, you know? Yeah. The area was crowded just when they had the show. Otherwise, it was really quiet. Quiet. So, Amber, using passing that arch, mm -hmm. there was a staircase connecting the, mm. the main hall to, to this, this level. Inside. So they could leave the city and the palace really and nobody very, would even very know. easy. Actually, I don't think residents of the United States use the main entrance of White House. I suppose oh, yeah. there is a, a special, you know, right. Right. entrance. I'm sure, those front doors hardly ever get used. Those two ones. 
to give a look here. We are on the photo. Then they cut this side of the hill to have these two zones to go down in the center. These pass these three ramps used just by suppliers. Imagine 300 people working inside, the family, the consultants, so they need food, stuff, things. So employee and, uh, and suppliers that were right here from the center, passing this arch, there was a door, they could stay inside. Okay. Now, this one seems a wall. You see the three archers? Yes. The last last one for Emperor. These two for different purposes. Now, it's not a wall. It's a the hill. But it's the hill. The wall to finish the hill. Now, basically, this is the hill. The hill. Wouldn't it be cool to have like a little dial? Yeah. The building you see. <coughs> Sorry. The building you see in front of you is a what remains of the Congress. Of course, now is nothing. You have to imagine Pantheon style. You see holes under the, that three windows. Yes. There was a wide perimeter of columns, basically the meeting point for senators. Marcus laps all around. The roof was a silver on the top of the plate and studies. They removed everything. When they just forced an unusual walls, insignificant and not reminding Anderson Rome, they decided to rebuild her when one more Catholic church. And unbelievable, this design, this shape, influenced so many small churches all around Europe. Yeah. Uh, small towns, small churches, no basilica, exactly the same shape. I have seen in United States, I don't remember exactly which state, but anyway, white area, green area, so farm, basically, farms. Right. In the middle of nothing, so green all around, exactly the same shape that was wood. Right. I remember mm -hmm. one window per side, per direct sunlight. Right. Maybe more than Christian churches. Maybe we talk about uh, Mormons, you know? Yeah. That, you know. Mm -hmm. This was a sort of official entrance for the
to understand exactly what they have behind. And this is the hill. So they remove all these blocks. Then they build these one line of bricks. I mean, to have a wall of finish, to block marble slabs, basically. But interesting is here. We know that an automatic hammer in full tension, this hammer, then they release and they manage to cut the blocks. Huh. If you imagine to end the theory of these uh, automatic hammers, mm -hmm. maybe in really few weeks they remove so many blocks to open this passage and this uh, to build the ramp to go on the top. Mm -hmm. Now, we are in the center. Two meters, and we are outside the palace and the hill. Wow. Watch your step. When Christian religion. <laughs> When Christian religion became office religion of Roman Empire, 3rd century, by law, all pagan temples converted in, Cat <coughs> in Catholic churches. But this one is the first real Catholic church brand new built by Romans before the end of the Roman Empire. Anyway, I told you they put it the area, so even this church remained in underground, full of material, so we lost early Christian frescoes, Roman state. All right, go take a picture. Hold on. Well, they got a couple decorations still on the wall. Huh? Of course, you maybe understand by yourself that was a temple, mm -hmm. totally destroyed. Why we have a few columns on the top? Because too late, but they realized impossible to to have the entire column, you know, because from that level they, they could just destroy columns. So they gave up because impossible to resell the entire column. But if you follow me... So it looks like some of those were made out of copper because you see the green yeah, coming yeah, down. Yeah, the green, yeah. The ring, archaeology is fixed to, to keep in place, you know? Yeah. That might be co uh, top, but not copper. But if you pay attention, there is a block of marble on the top of yeah. capital columns, right? Yeah. Really the top, okay? Yeah. Now, because they tried to remove was a full of columns all around. Now, I will show you a few sections of columns and there's a small block so you can see really close to right. that decoration.
This is Lop's original. Was a fountain because in underground there is a, basically a small natural river. Okay, now it's a close, it's a rainy water. This area was a full of marble slabs. Mm -hmm. Really the heart of Roman Empire. The main central square, the Congress, and what remain of the Imperial Coffee. The Imperial Coffee was the great building, marble slabs removed. The brown building on the top was a built in Renaissance age by Michelangelo. The Pope in charge Michelangelo to build a building for the governance of the city and because of the tabularium, the Imperial Coffee was really heavy, strongly built. Michelangelo used the building like basement. And this is the block I was telling you. Oh, you can see. This decoration that seems there. really an industrial product, but basically an artisan did. And when you see flat was white, but all these decorations, brilliant color, yellow, green, blue. And wow. the suction of, you see, yeah. from that from that, Campbell. right. When they realized they could have just sections, impossible to use a small piece of a marble like that, right. so garbage really. Yeah. They said, okay, we, we gave we'll just up. Leave we them. gave up. And they gave up really. This is the temple dedicated to this. Just the basement. The building was built just using blocks of marble. The first building is all right. Leaser. Behind is a block called what remain of the tomb of Julius Caesar because of the only Roman burned inside the city in the center because it was really beloved, the most famous Roman, you know, beloved by 90% of citizens. <laughs> Because of the temple was a big just marble Maybe it was right the here first would have been totally dismounted. Because of three dead blocks, columns, copper roof. Huh? That's almost done. Because I told you, inside this area, just building 45, 48 meters, like that white building, right. you understand by yourself the level of destruction, total oh. destruction. It's a more a bombed city than an archaeological site, completely different from Pompeii. Pompeii is like a lost town, very organized, around the buildings, uh, frescoes, doors, because the volcano basically was a, a rain of ashes, so polluted the city, frozen the life, really, full of bodies, packed jewelry, daily use objects, even food. Wow. 
here, human being managed to give you more density than other things. So, this is the problem. Crazy. Yeah, it's a lot of destruction. And this area really was at the heart of Roman Empire. So, for about 14 centuries, anything started from this area, the Congress. Wow. Alrighty. Alrighty. Yeah. 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 Now, this is the axe. <clears throat> to cancel pagan religion, because impossible for them, not more. The ancient Roman technology, completely know how, completely lost. Impossible to destroy the building. Giant granite columns, blocks of tufa rock, no bricks, so really heavy and anti seismic. The hole you see, because even here, there we look the things, the anti seismic pattern, you know? Yeah. To cancel pagan religion, they built a Catholic church inside the temple. So, using the building for Holy Mass, two generations, in their opinion, pagan religion completely, you know, lost in time. Lost in time. Basically, it was like that. It's a still San Lorenzo church. You see, the entrance of the church was a finish when this level was 16 meters, right? During, after, sorry, after excavations, the door now is in the middle of nothing. Excavation started 1875 and finished 1925. Because of the back of the building is at our street level, on the back they opened two doors and now the entrance. And what was at the front, so the entrance, now is in the back. This is still San Lorenzo Church. <laughs> now, I don't know if you want to remain more inside the park. If you want, you can remain a little bit more. I think they want to they wanna go eat lunch. Ah, oh, <laughs> I understand. So I'll close out the recording here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Really, you are welcome. <laughs>